there's also a weird artifact on the image. Hello and welcome, it's Haldu Folk. You know, the folk tale of uh, Haldu, maybe. So I'm gonna play as an archaeologist that was hired to survey a build site to confirm that it doesn't include any ancient artifacts. Gorgeous. This game has gorgeous screenshot on its page and a really nicely done edge page. So let's get right in there. Haldu Folk. You wouldn't think it might be a horror game. Haldu Folk. In white screen. I mean white screen. <laughs> Why isn't that a beautiful Ford Rover-esque? I, I don't know what kind of car that is. Yes, beautiful camera movements. Kind of epic music. Weirdly uh, changing geometry of a terrain. These, these little black frames between the cuts, those are really weird. Also, I'm not really sure what the music is. Freaking, stop with the black! There's this flash of black, okay, and <laughs> this movement, movement animation is really weird. I've made it to the bed and breakfast house. It looks... nice. Dot, 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 indeed. Let's press the cute OK sign. Is this supposed to be like... Greenland desk. That's a vibe I'm getting from, and all I know about Greenland is, is from wow. That that really didn't let me use the WSD controls and mouse while I, it was telling me to use it. Uh, all I know about Greenland I learned from Conan when he went there to for a trip. This is just a small storage house. To have some fun there. Yes, it totally validifies you to just pause all gameplay. Oh, I have to press OK and interrupt everything to just mention that. Yes. What the... Okay. Yes, yeah, so this game is using the... Oh, the B&B &B host must be a shepherd. A lot of cool sheep here. Yeah, cool sheep. That's what I'm all about. Cool sheep. Hey, sheep, you cool? Too cool for school, or are you a lame sheep like one of those losers, or are you a cool sheep? Come on, sheep, do something cool. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You go, cool sheep. Well, I'm curious to find out what his definition of cool sheep is at a later point in the game. I'm sure that'll be relevant. Yes, yes, the knocking off a door was very important, yes. Ah, you must be the researcher coming to see if that build site is free from any archaeological artifacts. Yes, yeah, lay out the story me. in dialogue. The ride was long. I'm ready to rest up before I get to work. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Welcome to my bed and breakfast. Come on in. Your room is right Welcome upstairs. To my bed Come and, and meet breakfast. me in the dining area after you've settled in. This is so deliciously awkward. <laughs> Also, dude, it's it's Airbnb times. Look at that Jeep, it's freaking modern as F. It's more futuristic than anything I've seen on streets in a while. Alright, you just sit there and do your drinking animation, that's cool with me. I'll just enjoy uh, the silliness and the beautiful pastel colors of this game. I'll go upstairs and I will, I will go to the bed in the bed and breakfast. This is what I am doing before I go to the site to... Uh, to estimate whether it is okay for that building to be built here in this country where I came to to estimate whether it is possible and at all legal to do that thing that I just mentioned. Okay, let's go to bed. Yes, let's... Uh, it is important that we put the camera on the cupboard and also our backpack. I'm actually quite impressed because... Uh, I mean, the animation didn't look good. But taking the work to do that animation... Oof, just imagine... So many video games that don't have any inventory and equipment animations. For a good reason, because it's freaking a lot of work that nobody needs to see. But it's interesting to see somebody try to show it. Okay, these glitchy um, close-by 3D walls are getting on my nerves. It's just too many games using them. I wanted to ask you if you know anything about the Huldefolk. Huldefolk? What's that about? You mean the game of creatures game name? That roam certain spots of you this mean like island. the name of the game? 
They are very territorial and will do anything to keep people away from their land. Didn't the builders that hired you tell you of these creatures? No, they didn't. But this is a joke, right? Oh no, no joke at all. It is well known to the Faroese people that these creatures exist. The Faroese these people. Builders that hired you, they're not very they close don't seem people, to be you aware say. Of the whole of the folk. They must be foreigners. <laughs> well, you're right on that. The builders are from the US. They want to build a hotel here. I mean, there's a bed and breakfast. Why would you build a but hotel in the middle of nowhere? Let's say these Hulda folk are real. No, of course we know why. How would you get rid of? Because beautiful nature can be marketed. You can't. If you find out the build site is filled with Hulda folk, you must stop the build project, and you must stay away from the site. All right. If the you think that you need to provide all this information, that's fine with me. Sometimes you can capture them on film too. How can I tell if Hulda folk live there? Keep a lookout for holes and mounds where they live in. Dirt circles on the ground indicate a Hulda folk was there digging for worms. And if there is a machine on site that is damaged, there could have been Hulda folk activity. Okay, sure. I will take your advice then. I'm only warning you. There's a common misconception about Hulda folk. Most people think they are not dangerous, but that isn't the case. I've had my encounters with the creatures before, and they don't like to be bothered. They have also taken some of my sheep. I appreciate your warning, and your hospitality. Now I must go lay down a bit, I'm tired. Perhaps you actually would like to hear what is happening while, while they are talking, what the conversation is about, while I am just talking over it. No seriously, where the heck did the subtitles go? It's about time I take a drive in the build site so I can survey it. I guess I'll have to add them manually later. So uh, after this elaborate uh, information stream of consciousness writing into our face and brain and head, let's leave this IKEA filled house behind and go into the maybe horror seeming now fog. Fog of course is the word. Hey sheep, are you still cool like a Clown? Sorry guys, I, I, I'm a disappointment to all of you. You're too cool for me. I'm gonna go now. Stay, stay fresh. Yeah, let's close the door. The intentions were very cinematic. It ended up awkward. But it is still so beautiful because of the color palettes. Okay, it's time to start taking some photos and notes. Yes, I always say that to myself when I am out surveying an area for building. There's ruins. Why did you switch to this even though I didn't ask for it? Okay, I'll just I'll just do a thing. It's a root. Oh really, it starts already. This looks like it was built a long, long time ago. There's also a weird artifact on the image. Maybe the camera is dirty. Oh my god, dude, you need to read a bit quicker. <laughs> okay, so the, the... I mean, on one hand, uh, on the other hand, at least we don't have to worry about pixel hunting, since the game apparently is doing it for us, see? Oh, whatever might happen. Oh no, will there be another artifact? Oh, there is none. Odd circles of dirt. Interesting. Are there any animals living here? Maybe Hulda folk. <laughs> Actually, I guess I was... Yeah, I was gonna say that there might be... It might be wise to do two photos normal and then the third one. Oh no, what a surprise. It is different. It has a Hulda folk in it. But they did it a bit different. Hmm. Or maybe it was randomized. There's nobody here. Well, have you checked inside? Maybe they're all... Sleeping the forever sleep. But I will have to trust your word because the writer wrote your text. What the heck is wrong with this texture? I cannot go up the stairs, by the way. The writer forbids it. This is incredibly hilarious. I love it. I don't know if this is some broken reflection or something, but it's awesome. Alright, so. There's a cat here. Just kidding. I'm making a little jest. Little yuk. Little, little hold the yuk. What is that behind the cat? Is that a corpse? I don't know. Is that. Huh? 
Okay, hold the folk. You tell me what this is. A damaged radiator. This needs some repairing. There's also another artifact on my photo. Damn camera. I don't know, man. It's a bit kind of like radiator. That's not a radiator. Radiator. Huh, I hear noises. From afar, it looks like a puppet. Hey, stop with the noises. Anyways, uh, Tignotaro could not have done a better job reading these voice lines. Hold the folk. Oh, hold the folk. A pile of rocks could be the doing of people from hundreds of years ago. But more than likely, it just been currently placed here by travelers or workers. And hey, voice acting is great. Even if it's a little on the slow side of possible voice acting performances. Okay, this could be all the folk. Or I'm being pranked. Um... It's a freaking cave, dude. And now you're being dragged by your throat into the Hold the Folk cave. Because you were making a little too much fun of them, I guess. I'm in control of this, by the way. I can look around. Is this a little chair? Wow, they're gonna... They're gonna stone me to death, aren't they? How very biblical. Can you not put the cursor on the center of the screen, please? The archaeologist was never seen again. The mound was searched, but it was found empty. The hobbits have abandoned it, and they have eaten even the bones. He has remained missing ever since. Well, uh... Wow, I mean, the progression of attention was all over the place, wasn't it? There was no no actual build-up, was there? A and then it just was totally anticlimactic. Wow, weird. I mean, it's it's cool. It's freaking beautiful. The voice acting is okay, but I guess the direction was a bit off. I mean, this thing is gorgeous, but it feels so freaking weird. I hope they make some more. There's actually a big team behind this. So there was one modeler, one sound designer, slash musician, and one person who did code, modeling, animation, and story. It seems kind of like a project where one person carried the others, and then one of the, one of the others just downloaded IKEA 3D models? Am, am I getting this right? Okay, so this was probably the most beautiful PS1-style horror game I've seen so far. It was also the least game. Right, so this archaeologist, he had a task. He failed at it, probably all the other workers are also dead. Are there any questions left? Are the Hold the Folk real? Of course not, but in a video game, sure, why not? It's all fantasy. We could also speculate, hey, the bed and breakfast guy doesn't want the competition from the big, scary corporate hotel. So he hired some monsters, can you do that? To play some Hold the Folk, to kill the archaeologist, so he could keep his Airbnb business alive. Yep, I think that's what I'm gonna roll with. Well, thank you for joining, and I will see you next time. Probably with less beautiful scenery and more playable gameplay. Until then, ciao!